The following video for 2021 is possible and part by Vinny Cross 2005, Action 52? More like shit 666. Oh. My. Fucking. God. This. Game. Sucks. This is one of the worst games ever. Here are the reasons why this game is worst of the worst, this game has very poor graphics. It has misleading, inconsistent titles. Inconsistent difficulty. Some games are unwinnable, others are impossible to lose. Some games are heavily glitched with some games like Star Evil having bosses that don't bother to show up. Character, anime designs often make no sense. Most of the music tracks are terrible save for a few exceptions. They also often use dissonant voices and are repellent to the ear. Lack of enemies in most games. Stupid weapons, such as a giant lollipop, and misleading power-ups in games like streamers. No reward for completing any of the games you're either forced to start the whole game from the beginning again or get a game over screen. The developers made a pathetic attempt at an epic final game called Cheat Emin, which was one of the worst ones, coincidentally. There are no continues or checkpoints in any of the 52 games. Here are the reasons why this game for Nintendo Entertainment System sucks. Quantity over quality, despite having 52 games, or 50 games if omitting the unplayable games, none are very appealing, most have less content than a regular Atari 2600 game, and all are nearly unplayable. The Genesis version is somewhat better. All 52 games are playable on some emulators. Horrible and cringe-inducing sound effects. Frequently crashes in the NES version with some games. If you play an actual cartridge of the game for more than an hour, not that you want to, the cartridge becomes hot and starts to smell of burning plastic. The NES version has a large number of mediocre space shooters, with a total of 10. If played on real hardware. Games like Alfredo and Jigsaw will simply crash at a black screen upon loading them in the NES version. Poor controls, including poor jumping. The price for the game was $199 or almost $4 per game. Yet it is not worth it. Poor animation. Horrible collision of detection. Lack of any common sense including games like Evil Empire and Billy Bob where you die in midair. Plagiarized music. The yeah. Woo. Drum Break, used for the game's title screen, is taken from It Takes Two by Rob Bass and DJ EZ Rock. Several songs were stolen from the music studio for the Atari Street Bad Grammar despite being developed in an English-speaking country. The manual only has very short descriptions of each game, which most of the time are misleading, bits and pieces, for instance, is described to be a puzzle game when it's actually a platformer. The manual you can read here. Speaking of the manual, while it's nice that it's translated into multiple languages, English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, and Arabic, it seems pointless as the game was only released in the United States. Almost every game is exactly the same as the last. In Cheetaman and a few other games, they reused characters from other games in the compilation, meaning the developers were either lazy or had very little time to make characters. The intro in the NES version will glitch for a little bit. Originally, there was supposed to be a prize for beating Ooze on the NES, but since it crashes on one of the levels while transitioning to the last level, it was dropped and was impossible. Read 24A. Now, here are the reasons why this game for Sega Genesis sucks. In the Genesis version, the game contradicts itself, as the first screen that appears when you boot up the game says licensed by Sega, then the very next screen says not licensed by Sega. In the Genesis version the only way to change games is to press the reset button on the console. The Genesis version actually has only 51 games. As mentioned in the summary, the 52nd is an endurance game of all the games. In the Genesis version, when the dog dies in the game freeway, the dog falls apart and you can see its organs. Not to mention, the game is a terrible clone of an Activision game on the Atari 2600 called Freeway. And that's the reasons why this game of the worst of the worst. Thank God I never played that and I never will, or else it would waste my time. Thank God this game got banned in 1994.
I don't know who likes this game, but do you know who hates this game? Peter Animate. In his Superman 64 rant, it has a line, and screw Action 52 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So screw Action 52. And screw Fortnite. Call of Duty is 2463732423784682626 times better than Action 52. End of rant. That's it for Season 2. Season 3 of my rant series will start on January 25, 2021, and my first rant on Season 3 will be I Hate Everything. The following.